Welcome back to another episode of The Lost Codex, a channel dedicated to the people, places, and histories of Azeroth Universe. If you missed our previous chapter on the rise and fall of the Black Empire, please click here. We carry on where we left off in the wake of Yasharaj's destruction, where a massive torn open wound lay at the center of Azeroth's largest continent. Today, we start a new chapter called The Reforging of Azeroth. The Keepers knew that if Azeroth's gushing wound wasn't healed in time, the chaotic lifeblood that poured from it would consume the entire planet. Setting to work, the Keepers utilized their powers to calm and reduce the blood flow, weaving magical wards and shaping the land around the injury. After they were finished, all that remained of the once gruesome gash was a calm, beautiful lake of glimmering energy. The Keepers would call this lake the Well of Eternity, and from its waters its essence would seep and pulse across the land, infusing the desiccated world with its life-giving radiance. Satisfied with their work, the Keepers turned their attention to the slumbering world soul's well-being, and sought to ensure its proper development and growth. Working as a pair, Keepers Loken and Mimiron designed and constructed two colossal machines, the Forge of Wills and the Forge of Origination. The Forge of Wills would be built and constructed in the northernmost part of the world, and would nurture and develop the slumbering world soul's growing sentience. Having been appointed Prime Designate by the Titans for his heroic deeds in the war against the Black Empire, Keeper Odin oversaw the Forge's installation and was tasked with watching over the prison of Yog saron With both the prison and the Forge within close proximity to one another, Odin and the other Keepers began constructing the vast, towering fortress known as Ulduar. Ulduar would house not only Yog saron's containment chamber and the Forge of Wills, but also serve as a base of operations for the Titan Forged. Although the Forge of Wills served a primary purpose, it was also constructed to perform a secondary task. Using the copious amounts of life energy that stirred within the planet as the world's soul developed, the Forge could draw upon the metals and stone of the earth, infuse them with the life energy of the world, and create new, fully sentient creations. The Keepers would create these new Titan Forge races to help them in the shaping and ordering of this new world era. With the first Forge active and installed, Highkeeper Ra went south to install the Forge of Origination, bringing with him an army of newly forged races recently created by the Forge of Wills. As they traveled south, they happened upon a gruesome sight, the scattered pieces of Yasharaj, and at the center of these chunks of gore lay the old god's massive cold heart. Ra ordered his servants to build an underground vault to not only contain and nullify the old god's essence that seeped from the heart, but to allow the Titan Forge to study the void energies of the old gods and learn more about them. Continuing on, Ra and the rest of his army traveled west and set to installing the massive Forge of Origination. As the machine activated, its purpose synced up with its sibling forge in the far north, stimulating healing waves from the polar ends of the continent into the world soul within. The Forge of Origination's unique purpose was to control and maintain the echoing vibrating heartbeat of the inner planet, and help strengthen its physical form. Like its sibling, the Forge of Origination held a secondary purpose. While the Forge of Wills in the north created and shaped new life, the Forge of Origination in the south would do the opposite if activated. In the event of systematic corruption of Azeroth's natural flora and fauna, the Forge of Origination would serve as a planetary reset button. Drawing upon energies from within the planet, the Forge could expel a massive pulse of power that would sanitize the surface, killing and destroying all life on Azeroth, and allowing the planet to start anew. Thank you for joining us for a new chapter in the Lost Codex. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like and share the video. If you have a request for a future topic, please leave a comment. And if you want to see more from the dusty pages of the Lost Codex, hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Reforging of Azeroth.